Right, so for the gear, as mentioned in my previous videos, I'm basically running my exact musket gear. The only real difference is uh, heart rune and stat splits. So I'm quickly going to go over the gear again. So running lightning harnessing is my sort of crutch, like mandatory perk. Um, and then the second perk is ideal enchanted ward or elemental aversion. Third perk would preferably be health and weapon perks. But as you can see, I've got just a few two perks in here. My helmet is honestly a one perker and powering shooter stance is useless. My boots are a two perker. My real only best here is the gloves and the chest. My legs are also, I put lightning harnessing as the third perk on the attunes. For the bow, we're just running a two perk that I got from the trade post for a couple couple thousand gold. Achievement Jagger, Desperate and Powers third, basically a useless perk. You should never be forcefully trying to stand around to deal more damage. It would be silly. So Critic Musket, obviously gone over this a bunch. Crippling Powder Burn on Muskets. Kenny Jagger of Aureal Achievements. Slotting full Topaz in both weapons. Normal tier 5 gems that create a higher burst damage. I actually do want to quickly mention this. Normal tier 5 gems over Rune Glass, more burst damage. You can compare the two right here with these images it is night and day instead of having a shitty dot that is just avoided by someone doing a shirking heal we just deal as much raw burst damage as we possibly can and i think that is the goal with this current meta is we want to avoid that sort of useless 200 damage dot with the rune glass and our weapons and using a tf5 gem we do an insane amount of elemental damage as you can see by the screenshots for jewelry tangle vine this is my defensive amulet this is what i generally use in war and obviously probably what i'm mainly going to use for a double range build because you don't really need my refreshing recovery amulet in this instance that would be used for something like rapier um this is uh again i've mentioned this this is in my google doc i love this amulet i recommend getting this one as the most consistent probably the most preferred amulet around just an all-round fantastic piece of jewelry Ring, Lightning Damage, Hardy, your two essential here. Invigorating Punishment is a wild card. I paid 150k for this and it probably wasn't worth it. Uh, so I'd recommend going either Burning, Bloodletting, um, or the Healing, Cleansing, Heart Rune perk. I forgot the name of it, I'll chuck it on screen uh, and as, as your third perk. Now for Earring, we've got Nimble, Fortifying Toast, and Pairing Toast. I would have liked to go Healthy Toast. I don't think you can. At least when I did it at Gypsum Kill and it didn't show up. Regardless, anyways, this is a fantastic airing. Set split. 350, 150, 150. We are very tanky, having 150 con here. We still deal a lot of damage, as you'll see later in the video. I have a full outpost rush gameplay for you guys today. So 350 DX 150 ints. Again, all these passives work with bow. They are pretty fantastic for that. A lot of bows these days are actually running this exact setup. And this works perfectly for musket too. So again, as a double range build, this is fantastic. We're not using 25 strength here. We don't need it. Again, we have six burst abilities on rotation. 50% of the time we're using abilities. So I don't see the point in strength here. For the musket tree, we're running the sticky bomb over shooter stance for this one. I actually also knocked off again some of the empowers here because I would way cross some power cap. So we've got the unflinching walk. Uh actually not that bad it's sometimes helpful and then we have a powder burn and a power shot so with that we have the bow which is the burst build i love this this is one that i think adorian hasn't showed in his video i think this is pretty fantastic a lot of single target burst here pin explosive very good single target Rain of arrows again that's a fantastic clump ability right there works really really well with sticky bomb so again that is kind of the whole build in a nutshell it's pretty simple all we basically did compared to previous videos is respec our stats and slap on a bow that is all you need to get double range to work and work really well so again that is basically everything i'll see you guys in the next one peace
chick off this dope shit, man. Pay is never down, we getting paid. Another day, another dollar living in the bay. Hustling for my baby, trying to play in my state. Money staying in the matrix where they trying to get my pay. Pay is never down, we getting paid. Another day, another dollar living in the bay. Hustling for my baby, trying to play in my state. Money staying in the matrix where they trying to get my pay. Thank <laughs> you. 